excited about the hunt. Uh, pretty weather compared to Texas. So it should be fun with Grandpa and Steve and see how it goes. burgers with a little bit of sweet sticky sauce uh, it's a range finding scope so what's well, not a range finding scope you range and then you dial and then yeah I'm just gonna... oh, so it actually shows you how to dial it if it's so far yeah Okay, both places are galloping. Oh, it's amazing. There's a wolf unit on. There's a wolf. Yeah, a wolf. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wolf. Well, I'm going with the guys. I was fast asleep, minding my own business, <laughs> but no, they want me to go. That's what I hate about this shit. <laughs> Um, so we have the shooting range now, we're going to check the rifles and then after that so? we'll wow. just head out and Hello. see what we can see this afternoon. So I'm shooting a Gunworks Magnus, uh, it's chambered in 30 nozzler, it has a carbon fiber barrel, carbon fiber stock, titanium action, uh, the scope is a Revic Optics by Gunworks. Uh, I'm shooting 215 Burger hybrids, it's like the VLDs, um, also loaded by Gunworks for me and uh, it's a solid setup for a decent shooter. Yeah, get two inches. Howdy. Shooting a 30 nozzle today, uh, gun works. We're trying to sight in our gun here at 100 yards, so God willing, we're on. Alright, so we're done now at the range, so we'll just head out to the property now and see if we can see some um, huntable animals and see if we maybe get lucky this afternoon. Okay, so we just spotted an impala male and um, 
looks like a very good one. We're going to go and try and see if we can get closer. Okay, so what we'll do is, wind's blowing to the left. They went over here. I think we'll try and get them from the front. See if we can go around this little copy and see if we can get them from the front. Um, but I think uh, let's go back to the vehicle and take it from there. Sounds good. Had a nice walk. Yeah, good little wake up. So night one, South Africa, free state, hunting free state. Uh, we came upon this big, big old ram, old ram, Impala. Uh, it looks like we just kept bumping and bumping and bumping it. Got eyes on, eyes on us and uh, this is a good stock, good first night stock. Way to wake up and now it's time for a nice uh, cold sundowner by the fire. Good night one. Got a little rain this morning. Uh, a little colder this morning, as you can tell by my outfit. I had fun last night, a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully we'll get some, something good today. And then, uh, yeah, another beautiful day in South Africa. This morning, first of all, we're getting cold. Um, yeah, in the free state, and um, we'll be going out this morning see what we can get in this weather um, yeah take it from there There's a little ridge, ditch that goes through here, almost to those trees there, mm. and try and get the coverage okay. of the trees because it's quite open here. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see how, how close we can get. Okay.
is the big bull, but he's standing in the middle at the back. In the back? Yeah. So let's just give him time to yeah. turn nice and broadside. He's totally open now, but facing Safety us. Now. Yeah. He's walking the hill over. They're coming here. Totally, right, totally to the left. Yep. Am I right? Yep. Let me just make sure. Excellent, excellent. Beautiful old bull. Excellent yeah, yeah. shot. Awesome. Great. Congratulations. Oppa. Thank you, Opa. That's a really nice, nice old bull. Very nice. You see what I meant by black in the face? This is, if you don't see this, white horns, still young. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Very nice. Yeah. Very old bull. All right, day two in South Africa. Uh, first day of hunting in the Free State. I had an absolute blast in this uh, stock. Uh, came upon a group of black wildebeest. They pretty much stayed together the entire time. This one, uh, the old guy, straight away gave me a good shot at about 410 yards. Um, put my Terry and Oswald to good work. Took a shot, it was a little far behind, but I still did the damage. Ran about 200 yards, went down. Um, Beautiful day, a little cold, uh, but love hunting with Yanni Auto Safaris here in the Free State, so more to come. Alright, so we just came to drop the black wildebeest we shot earlier. Um, on our way here we spot a nice, it looks like a bachelor herd of golden villabeers. So we'll head out there now and put a nice talk on and see if there's a bull that's uh, good enough to come into the salt. So let's hold thumbs and see what happens. They're right at the bottom of that little slope of the mountain. They start feeding down, so we'll just carry on heading here and get close and see if there's a nice bull in there. Okay. All right. Just head back like this. 
so we'll give him a long, long back as well. Oh, there they are. This is um, Elan, Elan Tenderloin. So we uh, just put the color on it, and then we're gonna cut it wheels, and then we're gonna flambe it on the, on the pan. All right, good morning. Day two of South Africa hunting. Uh, it's a very cold morning here in the Free State. Rained all night. Uh, we couldn't go out last yesterday afternoon because of all the rain. Uh, as you can see, it's going to be really wet today, really cold. Uh, we're going to see what we can do. Generator was out, electricity was out. Uh, still had a great time. Uh, candles really helped out, uh, flashlights and everything. We still had a blast. I uh, can't complain while here in Africa, so let's see what day two produces. Okay, so we took a stalk this morning on a sable. Um, we stalked for quite a while. Um, 
probably about two miles I would say and um, we just took it really slow. We got very close to it, almost too close. Um, we were sitting here for about 10 to 15 minutes waiting for a clear shot but because we were so close we couldn't wait too much longer. We, he was looking up and we just had to take a shot and um, Stevie uh, did an excellent shot on that table out free hand. Um, there was no time for sticks. I think that was an excellent, excellent hunt. Let's just get behind him. Give him a piercing? Yeah. Nice and heavy, yeah. And you're right, he opens up. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, when they start opening up, you know, I mean, not all of them will keep keep the straight straightness of the horns because sometimes when they're young, yeah, they, they hurt their horn, and then it's you carry on it's growing in that direction basically. But I mean, it's a nice old bull. Yeah. Day two, hunting here in South Africa with Yanni Auto Safaris. Uh, we actually started looking at two golden wildebeests uh, when we got off the truck here. And then Philip turned around and saw this beautiful big sable bull in the mountains. And he said, you know, change of plans. Sables was the primary goal of this trip. So we said, let's go after it. Uh, went up and down mountains, uh, Kopis and got a good shot. I mean, it took a while. We uh, got really close to him, a little closer than we, than we thought. And we ended up just uh, getting down, staying down, sitting down, letting him feed. He had no idea we were there. And then uh, we needed to make a quick shot. He's, he saw us, he picked up his head, and he was gonna take off. So I ended up doing, uh, well, Phil gave me the go ahead to take him offhand. So I got him right in the neck and he dropped, which is what we want. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was a fantastic hunt. It was a very uh, exciting hunt. We were very close. We had to be very quiet and uh, great, uh, great result. Okay, we spotted some a copper springbuck, common and black, but we're looking for a copper. So we're gonna take a nice stalk and see if we can get close to them.
morning so we are on Friday morning very cold in the free state um, actually very misty as well this morning um, we'll be heading out looking for kudu lechwe nyala and whatever presents itself maybe some tetsubi as well but we'll see why the weather holds in I think we're gonna go out and see what we kill my son wants to kill a kudu hopefully we can see some before we come out or come back rather but it's nice and cool today I'm not smoking but you can see the smoke are coming the, the, the coming out of my mouth <laughs> So I just finished a long uh, recovery, unsuccessful so far. We'll try to find him uh, this afternoon, see if we can finish him off. It's a nice sunny shiny day for the first time. Um, we'll probably go and have a look at the um, Letsway if we can find it. Um, we didn't have any luck yesterday. Um, hopefully the weather plays along and that we'll get a, a good look at the herd after we shot one yesterday. Um, yes, and then we'll see um, after that Golden Wildebeest, uh, Nyala, Kudu, whatever comes along. long couple days uh, we think he might be in here this lechoy that I got yesterday uh, at around 8 in the morning yesterday we've been looking in for him since uh, saw a big group of bulls in there and uh, gonna go take a look see if uh, we see him so we can put an end to this long hunt
Recovery services. Yes. Yaki stuff there on the southern side. The tractor is going there. We spotted some golden wildebeest up in the mountain. We're going to get a bit closer and see if there's a good one to shoot. And then um, yeah, we'll get a proning position and see if we can get a good shot. Oh, he's nice. He's really nice. Here comes he's, he's stood. One on the right, no, totally no. on the right. Totally. For another one? No, wait. Nice white face almost, blondie. Day four, hunting in South Africa with Yanni Auto Safaris. Uh, we were hunting Lechway and then we came upon a group of uh, golden wildebeest in the mountains. And so we decided to move towards the golden wildebeest. Uh, turned out there were two good bulls in there. Uh, so we tried to get close. First, we were around 300 yards when I was ready for that shot. Um, wouldn't give us a shot, they ended up bedding down. So Philip PH decided to, we should move forward. And uh, we actually got around to 25 yards. And then they spotted us. They ran a little bit, stopped, gave me a good shot. Put one uh, high lung. 
So, uh, fantastic day, fantastic hunt. Um, beautiful golden wildebeest, beautiful colors. You can see some stripes off, shining off the sun. Obviously some battle scars on his horns. Um, just, what we, just what I want in, uh, in a golden wildebeest. So, uh, yeah, awesome hunt. We need something like this in Texas. Man, we could be out here every day enjoying this beautiful scenery. Cappuccino. <laughs> we, I, I, I ain't used to this. We're used to coffee, but cappuccino is real, real good. <laughs> so day five hunting. Uh, switched camps today. Came to the main lodge. Um, have kudu still for me and Nyala. Steve has his Nyala and a and red heart beast. Uh, beautiful day. Sun's finally out, warming up. Maybe put on my shorts today and uh, see how the day goes. There's a very nice ram there and see what we can get and how close we can get. You ready, Leroux? Yes, sir.
he's on the right, totally on the far right. Far right. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just wait. No, it's not him. Down. Yeah. Okay, we were getting close to the um, copper springbuck. Had a bit of a battle with the long grass, but eventually we had a, had a good shot at him. Um, he's down. We're going to go closer. Let's go check him out. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. Awesome, awesome. Beautiful. Wasn't easy with the long grass. No. Beautiful old ram, symmetrical. <sighs> nice dark in the face. Old? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Day five in beautiful, sunny South Africa. It's starting to heat up, which is nice. Uh, we're just driving around saw a group of copper springbok uh, there were a couple of nice rams in the group so we decided to uh, pursue it and see if there's a good shooter in there there was a good shooter a nice old ram here um, walked a little bit tried to get as close as we could came to two bushes the spring wouldn't give us a shot there was high grass not ideal conditions for hunting springbok but we had to improvise and uh, we did, came out successful Got a nice shot at around 215 yards, um, right in the shoulder, beautiful shot, finally feeling good about the shots, uh, dropped, and uh, yeah, now we have a beautiful result, a nice old mature ram, copper spring buck.
good morning, uh, day six. Uh, partied a little too hard last night. My sinuses are acting up, but we spotted a possible lechway that I got a few days ago. Uh, I'm gonna go take a closer look at him, see if, see if he has a, a hole in him. And if he does, we'll finally put him down. About to hit on, on the afternoon hunt, looking for kudu still and Nyala. Um, it's warming up, beautiful another day. Finished lunch right now. Uh, we'll see what how the, what the day produces. Yeah. The Kudu Bull. Um, been looking for a few days and uh, we're gonna try and get closer to him. Are you ready? Yes, sir. His horns are shining. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one I want.
Yeah. There's only one bull, right? Yes. Can you turn right now? Yes, yes. Okay. He's gonna go. He's okay. gonna walk. That was the one we were talking about, right? With this good, really. I'm very happy with it. Look at these ridges. Yeah. It's an old bull. Nice and thick. Old bull. Symmetrical curl. And you see, like that other one was nice and wide, but his horns were still turning like that. Yeah. They weren't closing again. Yeah. Day six, hunting in South Africa. Finally got uh, the gray ghost, a nice, really nice old kudu. Uh, we were driving and we spotted him uh, in another herd uh, across the mountain. So we decided to go for a little stalk, uh, ended up with a far shot, uh, no good early opportunity off sticks, rocky and hilly. Uh, Philip recommended me get on a rock and shoot prone. I ended up shooting prone, it was a great idea. Uh, shot came out to around 410 yards off prone with the gun works, just nailed him right in the shoulder. Went about, what, 20 yards and then, yeah. then fell. And the bullet performed, uh, it was a great hunt and great, uh, great trophy, mm -hmm. kudu. It's day seven. Um, we still have a Nyala bull that we're looking for. We spotted some Nyala going into the thickets this morning and um, we're gonna try and push them out and see if we can get a shot on it. Long stock got warm. Uh, spooked him, walked about a mile, uh, found him, found two young ones, decided to pass on them. They had some nice ivory tips, but they're just too young. Now we came to look for, and uh, now we're waiting for our tracker to bring the truck.
last day on safari with Yanni on a safari. Uh, spotted this big, big, big ledgeway that we saw the other day. Just one of those animals that you just can't pass up. Come, let's go. Oh, well done, what sir. a way to end it, man. What a, what awesome, a awesome, awesome. Oof. You had a small gap, but you took it. Well done. Beautiful animal. And we saw him on the road. Uh, we ended up going for a little stock on him. Uh, got a nice shot off the sticks. It was close, maybe 120 yards. Got him a little high, but uh, still broke both both uh, shoulders, and he dropped right there in his tracks, didn't move. Um, very confident with that shot. And uh, yeah, now it comes to the end of my safari here in South Africa with Yanni Auto Safaris and hunting with uh, the owner of the farm, Reiki, and my PH, Philip here. Uh, had a phenomenal time. What a way to go out with this beautiful Lechoy bull. Um, couldn't be happier and now time to celebrate all over again. <laughs>